What are you doing to stay safe during the COVID-19 pandemic? Stay at home. Clean everything. Clean everything. Wash down everything. Wash up with Clorox too, because I know Clorox kills germs. So whenever people come to my house and they use cups or whatever utensil, I wash it with Clorox and I clean everything. Sweep and mop every day. And just wear masks and stay, stay at least six feet away, like you said. No? Stay far for our people. I don't, I don't want to catch the disease and put it up. Because the vaccine will help you and not catch it. So the best thing for that stay far for our people. One of the things that I think that I'm, that I'm not only doing myself, but I think Belizeans on our whole, in fact, humans on our whole, the worldwide population is uh, have self-love. And um, if you love yourself, then you would, you know, do what you need to do to keep yourself safe and at large, you know, keep everybody around you safe. So, um, you know, avoid um, crowds and stuff. Perfectly time your outings and stuff. Do you really need to go out three times for the week? Can you compile it into one week? If you go into an establishment and the establishment is totally packed to walk out, go for a walk, come back and see when some people have left. Wear your mask over your nose, over your mouth, sanitize, avoid social distance. I mean, it, I know it's hard and stuff, but you know, you just gotta do what you got to do. An, I serve God, so I know I know like I know for your Corona, so it not really matter me at all. So, it might sound crazy, but. I serve, I serve my God, my God who I serve. Nor, nor in vaccine, nor nothing, because all anything have to come to pass. You understand me? So, so you're not vaccinated? So, none of your family members? Well, some of my family vaccinated, but everybody today won't, you know. Many have been charged for violating the quarantine regulations and public health protocols, which have been set in place to contain the spread of the virus. But the country is currently experiencing a third wave with less than 20% fully vaccinated. With stricter measures soon to be enforced, including an extension of the current curfew to further restrict movement. What does that mean for residents? You know, make more sense. Why? Because then we catch bus and when we catch bus, we do we, um, we do, you know, people sit down close to each other. Then the only out there when you're there, like, that the areas that the police, they're out there, but in a bus, you're there. You're there right there. Well, the curfew no matter to me because you don't have to live on the street that night anyway. The numbers will never reduce until people be responsible for themselves. No matter what type of curfew this government put, it will not work. We have to be responsible for our family and ourselves. If we don't do it, nothing will change. The curfew no matter because people still not do it, uh, still not about, still socialize if they want. That is the people is the by themselves. What we're basically doing with this curfew and these lockdowns is basically we're creating a cycle. What I mean by a cycle is the fact that what we're going to do is we're going to have stricter regulations for maybe two, three weeks, the numbers go down, and then we re release, um, we ease up the restrictions and stuff, and then people go back to the same situation. So we're back to square one. So it's either we have a lockdown, we take the numbers down, and then people come out back, we come out back, and then you know start to follow and do what we must, otherwise we'll go right back to it again. And we'll have a third, a fourth, a fifth, and a sixth, and God forbid, even a tenth wave. Dwayne Moody for News 5.